Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you a demonstration of FreeMill, which is our free uh, three-axis milling plugin uh, for Rhino. And when you download and install RhinoCam, uh, we have another video that shows you uh, how to get RhinoCam, the demo version of RhinoCam. So you just go ahead and run Rhino after you download RhinoCam and install it. And initially, uh, RhinoCam will come up with this dialog as asking you uh, how you want to run the product. For this demonstration, uh, we're going to go ahead and run FreeMill. So Rhino comes up and FreeMill, the pl FreeMill plugin is loaded on the left. It's a wizard-driven cam uh, machining interface with different tabs for each step in the machining process. So let's go ahead and open our part file. For this demonstration, we're going to open a step file uh, into Rhino. So let's go ahead and go get the step file that I want to open. And as you can see, uh, we have a 3D model here uh, in Rhino. It's, uh, when it came in, it's tilted up on its side. We're going to machine in the Z-axis. So let's flip it over and using Rhino's controls. So here is our model that we're going to machine. It is a uh, the core side of a mold uh, block. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use FreeMill to machine this in both roughing and finishing. So let's go ahead and get started. The first tab in the FreeMill wizard is to set your cutting direction. And we're going to be cutting uh, down in the Z axis. So it's by default, it's set to world Z. So let's go to the next tab and we'll create our stock box. For our stock, we're going to leave it uh, here at, at the top. It tells you the, the part bounds, the bounding box of the part itself. So you need a minimum stock of that dimension. And we're going to add an eighth of an inch to the Z axis. OK, so you see that it uh, extended a little bit above uh, the top of the part. So for the next tab, we're going to set our work zero. This is the point at which you're going to zero your machine out to run uh, the post G code. So for this part, we're going to go ahead and set it to the top of the stock box and we'll set it to the highest Z. You have different options here. You can set it to the middle or the lowest Z. And this is your machine coordinate system here uh, that you see on the screen. So we're going to set it to the highest Z and in the southwest corner of our stock. The next step is we're going to define our cutting tool. Now I mentioned that we're going to rough and finish this part. So for roughing, we're going to select a flat mill. And let's set a three-quarter inch flat mill, and let's set the length, the flute length to four inches, and the tool length uh, to five inches. So it gets down enough depth to clear out all this material. So we'll go ahead and go to the uh, feeds and speeds tab, and we'll just leave those set, and you can adjust these you know, to your uh, machine preferences. So for the create machining operation tab, here's where all the action really comes into play. You'll see that this dialog has not only a step over distance, but also a step down distance. So it allows you to cut in levels. So in this first procedure, you use FreeMill and then you post uh, the G code. So we're going to do a roughing and then we'll come back and make changes and post a finishing. So we're going to do a step down distance, uh, we'll say uh, 0 0.375, which is 50% uh, of the tool diameter. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut along uh, the X axis this way. Let's go ahead and generate that. So here, that's how fast it is. We have a, uh, basically it's a horizontal roughing, uh, three axis horizontal roughing tool path that's stepped down in layers. And let's go ahead and do a simulation. So here is our uh, roughing operation using a three quarter inch flat end mill. At this point, we can go ahead and go to the post processing tab and go ahead and post this out. And for this, we'll use uh, a Haas controller, and we'll go ahead and post. And we'll just save it here. We'll just say 
remail h h rough and we'll give it a dot nc extension and go ahead and save that so here is our g code for the roughing uh, operation so now once we did our roughing operation we can go back up into the cutting tools tab and we'll choose a ball mill and let's make this a 1 8 inch ball mill that we'll use we'll use the same flute length and the same tool length and we'll skip down we'll use the same cutting feeds and speeds for the machining operation tab we're going to go ahead and change the step distance to 0 0.02 so it's a finer step over and then we'll use change the step down to zero so we're going to just machine it right on the surface this is the finishing operation so there won't be any step down uh, for this operation so let's go ahead and generate that this may take a second to generate no nope, that was pretty quick so here is our nice uh, three axis parallel finishing operation on this part let's go ahead and simulate it now, if you want to see your incremental simulation, you can just go to the toolpath display and you'll see that it got all the way over to this section already. And let's do the simulate tab. And you go back and forth to see the process of the simulation. So here's our nice uh, parallel finishing toolpath of this uh, cavity block or the mold core half of this uh, insert and now we can go ahead and go down and post out the finishing operation and we'll use uh, free mill p finish dot nc and here is our parallel finishing toolpath uh, for this uh, mold core uh, block. Now you can post, uh, you can uh, load each one of these NCG code files on your CNC machine. You can load the roughing and then go ahead and load the finishing. And that's how you can use Freemill to uh, do roughing and finishing on a three axis part uh, in uh, Rhino. If you want more information or more videos on how to use Rhino Cam, you can just go to our website at mexoft.com. Thank you.